There's a lot of lies circulating lately. There's been a lot of lies that circulated lately. And Israel is a country built and based on a lie, which we will get into. And <clears throat> there's a number of lies, old and new, but I wanted to address them in one video. Let's go. According to YouTube community guidelines, it's a no-no to, you know, uh, mock another creator or bully him or whatever. So I'm not going to say who's the creator. There's really a number of them, but there's one that, that really struck a chord with me, that really made me angry. Yes, angry. The title was Free Palestine? No thanks. Hmm? But he went on to say a bunch of lies. Let's just get into it from the top. Quick, what lie first? First lie. If y'all have seen Pierce Morgan, or really any, any of the media, they're talking about condemn Hamas. Why won't you condemn Hamas? Well, here's the, here's the thing, bro. What came first, the chicken or the egg? These are defenseless people who, when Israel goes and harasses and, and massacres and, and routinely, routinely airstrikes them, just like they did, but on a, on a regular, they refer to it as mowing the lawn. So I refuse to condemn Hamas because they are the only line of defense to a people with no defense. If they can't control their own drinking water, that says everything there is to, to, to. I can't condemn them. You got a whole movie made, Django Unchained. I don't like the movie too much, but a lot of white people like that movie. It's about a slave who, you know, got his freedom. I don't see you complaining about the slave getting his freedom. That's a, I thought BLM. Hmm? Do these lives not matter or what? It was it was gonna come at some point, bro. Whether Iran got involved or not. This was this was waiting to happen. Especially when they felt I, I don't know if because it, it is you know, Iran strongly uh that's what the evidence suggests. They're behind it, but even if Iran wasn't behind it, the people felt betrayed when they heard Saudi Arabia speak of normalization with Israel. What? They were the last g g hope, and they turned their back on them. Even though they didn't really turn it back, they said, we'll normalize when you do right by them, which never happened. <clears throat> but moving on. Lie that, there's a lie that Hamas shot babies in their cribs. Show me a picture. Find me a video, a picture. Show me the mother of said baby. This lie was said to be uh, uh, told to a reporter who didn't even see such a thing himself, uh, herself. I'll put up her name here or her details, but... This lie was tracked down to his source, and the soldier's name as well, something Ben Zion. He lied. The reporter took it and spun it around, and yeah, shot babies in the crib. Hey, why don't you condemn them? They shot baby. Show me the baby. I can't show you the baby, but I can show you the buildings coming down on innocent people in mass. Bakeries, every bakery. They didn't leave a bakery standing. They committed genocide in 4K, man. And what's driving me crazy is no one is saying anything about that, but I'm supposed to condemn Hamas? I did condemn Hamas, but now I take it back. Because Hamas took hostages, right? They kept them alive. All of them. They even gave two back. But Israel left nobody alive. 
And they didn't even let the aid come in. They airstriking. It's they're still doing it as we speak for, for like four or five days. I got tired, man. I grieve and I look and I grieve and I look at my face. I don't want to party or nothing. I don't want to do it. Nah. How is everybody letting this slide, bro? It won't slide. But the crib, babies in the crib turn out to be false. It seems to me that Hamas, the terrorists, have more empathy and, 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 and humanity. They kept all the hostages alive. All 200 something. And they posted proof of life. And they gave two back. They have no scratch on them. But look at Gaza, the people with no defense. They got more than a scratch. So they act out, yes they did. Did they shoot up? They might have. I didn't defend that these actions. But you can't sit here, we grown men, we can't sit here in front of each other and act like these people just, they didn't do this out of boredom. I can put this chart up and it'll speak for itself. This is why I won't condemn them. Because if the other side didn't exist, Hamas wouldn't exist. They compare it to ISIS, it's nothing like ISIS. ISIS is the remainings of Al-Qaeda, which again, you created. I'll put the link up if you want to hear me explain how USA created Al-Qaeda. But this is the remainings of all of them who took advantage of Syria, who again, Israel, you created. <laughs> Israel and all the, uh, ISIS would have never happened if your puppet Bashar didn't do things like drop chemical weapons on his own people. They took advantage of the mess. And Hamas is also a creation of Israel. There was a secular option. Go, go look up what, why, why Israel didn't. Next lie. The lie that this land is the promised land of the Jews in the Bible. I study all religions. I do. But this here did not need any studying for me to refute this lie. Yes, the Bible and, and the Torah say what they say. Even the Quran confirms that statement. But you know what? The Jews spoken about in those very old books those Jewish people mentioned stayed in that part. That's the stayed in it. They lived uh, time generation after, this. and later, because you know time doesn't stop going. Tick tock, tick tock. They converted to Islam. The Palestinians are the same people that used to be Jews once upon a time. That's the people mentioned in the holy books. You, sir, Mr. D huh? Rightfully yours, okay. You were in Europe. You got dispersed after the situation up in Germany. You know? After the gas chambers and whatnot. The Holocaust. Which was horrible. But you're not... You could have integrated into society. You could have had this land given to you by the British Empire and been merciful on the people who came to visit their third holy site, which is Al-Aqsa Mosque, or Quds, or whatever it's called. But no. I watched myself. Videos for years. Humiliation, harassment, uh, just uh, horrible stuff. You thought George Floyd was bad? They did that every day out there and on camera, nobody said a thing. But I'm supposed to condemn Hamas? Next.
So yeah, you're European, bro. Matter of fact, Judaism and your generation tree or your family tree is recent. It's only like three or four generations ago. Do your research, son. Next lie. The hospital. Hamas did not strike themselves and definitely didn't strike a hospital. They did not misfire and hit 20 hospitals on themselves. Hamas is the only resistance, the only people that care about these people. Hamas does not have the kind of firepower to do the damage done to the hospital. Okay, maybe Hamas did the hospital. Let's, let's go by your stupid logic, which is impossible. What about the bakeries? What about the shelters with an S? What about the 19 other hospitals? Because it's 20 or more. Mind you, as we speak, this is still going on. This hasn't stopped. The aid has not came in. Drinking water, nada. This was not one war crime. This was like a, a cocktail of war crimes. Genocide is just the tip of the iceberg. But when you defend them, when you say this is wrong, you're a terrorist. If saying the truth makes me a terrorist, then I'm a terrorist. I, it's not my first time being called a terrorist, bruh. I grew up in this world post 9-11. I think it's my first time hearing that word. I've been called a terrorist plenty of time. I'd rather be that than stand with this evil. I cannot. Next slide. I'm already sickened, so let's let's do this quick. What's the other lies right again? They lie so much. What other lies there? Hmm. 